Hello and welcome back to Tomb Raider. It's been a couple of weeks since I played this game. This is the first recording since I've been back from my trip and I'm definitely looking forward to getting this thing finished off. So we're picking up back at the sort of like the halfway point level we found in the Egypt area. There's not really all that much in this level that I've seen so far. So we're just gonna have to keep walking until we find something interesting, I suppose. All right, that looks like a, a key socket, a keyhole, that's the word. So there's a locked door there we need a key for. And a kind of temple looking area here. A few slits in the wall we can take a look through. What's through here? Pool of water, some shotgun shells. Okay. And these are all blocks that we can pull. Plus there's like a, like a golden platform up there, which are things that often expand. Like after you do something, we've seen those in previous levels. Oh, and look, behind this block here, pool of water. So I kind of want those shotgun shells. Let's have a try going down here. And then maybe each other block has a different path we can take. Maybe one will just have an enemy. Okay, we surfaced in here. It's an odd looking room. Let's get out because I'm sure there's something that's going to try and eat me here in a second. Okay, so there's just like a load of slits in this wall and yep, I knew it. Right there. So yeah, there's a lot of slits down here that you can just swim through. I guess you're supposed to try and escape from that enemy through there. Here it comes. And he's dead. And there's, like, a, a mirror and a save crystal. What does this mirror do? Can I interact with it? Or is it just like a placeholder item? No, I can't interact with it. Okay, well, let's go have a look around. No, Laura, pass the pole. Seriously. There we go. Let's go have a look around for some treasure. Oh, we found a med kit already. And it seems like the only other thing in this room is another set of magnum clips. Because, you know, the game doesn't give us enough of those already. Well, we haven't really done anything in here. So I don't know if taking that save crystal is really worth it right now. So maybe we'll leave that be for the time being. And we'll come back maybe once we find out what we do with that mirror. Let's go back and try another block in the main room. I'm thinking we just do this, like, logically go left to right. And this is just a drop. Okay. Is it me or is that platform kind of slanted? It looks slanted. This feels like a trap. Oh, we just missed the platform entirely. But yeah, I saw that health bar appear and then Lara started aiming at this thing. Let's heal up, shall we? There we go. See, so yeah, I guess the whole point of that was you were supposed to drop onto the platform thinking it was flat. Slide down and then get trapped in the room with this thing. Let's see what this lever does, shall we? I guess that's just the way out of the room. There's two ways to climb up. Nothing hidden back here. Oh, and a health kit. Is there anything down that side? Like, is there any point in climbing up both ways to get up? No, I don't really see anything over there. Okay. That's fine. I think I kind of get what they were trying to do with that room, though. Like, if you just ran past the enemy and tried to escape, you wouldn't have been able to leave the room, so you had no choice but to get down there with it. Which would be why there was all this overhanging space, so that it had somewhere to hide. You know, make it harder for you to shoot it from just up here. Oh, but hey, there's my first awkward angle jump after coming back to this game. Alright, nice and easy. That's another drop. Let me just skip over that. Is there anything in this room? No, nothing behind this little golden door? Oh, more magnum ammo. Because, you know, variety is definitely not the spice of life according to this game. So what's down here? Oh, this is where we came in. There's that dead panther right next to the slopey block. So let's be really careful not to go back down that slope, because I guess there's not actually anything in here for us. These rooms are just, like, dead exploration. Alright, more we'll block three out of four. Let's see what this one holds. Just a corridor. And an enemy. Alright then. It's just, like, a grid up here with a health kit on the other side. I don't seem to be able to get around this. 
Well, yeah, I kind of forgot how much enemies jammed you against stuff and themselves until just then. I need to watch out for that. But yeah, there's just one more block left in this corner here. Let's pull this out and see where this goes. Is there going to be another enemy? In yep, I knew it. No, let me move again. Oh god, that was kind of close, actually. Let's heal up again. Yeah, I got kind of jammed against that block, but let's see where this goes. There's nothing in the cubby the panther came out of. And is this just the... Yeah, it's just the health kit from the other side of where we just were. So there's not actually anything to get progression-wise in any of these block rooms, weirdly enough. I think the water level's probably our best bet. I think realistically that's the only one that had something in it that it looked like we could interact with, so let's get back out there. And if anything, I think I can just use this save crystal now that I've been far enough through here that I have progress I don't necessarily want to lose. Oh, it turns out that actually, I'm just blind. There's a key in here, and we've got a camera full of Laura's ass as I try and pick it up. There we go. Don't you be getting me demonetized, Laura. I've had enough of that with Yennefer's ass when I was playing Witcher 3. Okay, so maybe this key just opens the room we were in back here, like the little keyhole of this side. Let's give this a try. And yep, it's compatible. Which I'm glad with, because I'd be really stumped on where to go otherwise. Oh, that opens both of these doors. So this is the place with the shotgun shells I saw earlier. It does make me wonder if there's anything else I can do in here though, because... We need to go up that section we saw before in the main room. I think this is just somewhere for you to fall into if you make a mistake. Judging by the state of what look like drawbridges and stuff above me, but I want the shotgun shells. And I may as well take the time to inspect this area, make sure there's nothing else around. I mean, there's some magnum ammo just to the right on the bottom of the water. But I just want to make sure there's no enemies down here before we do anything else. And it looks like it's clear. So yeah, I'll grab that ammo and then we'll go back where we were, I think. So it was just down here I saw it? Yep, there we go. Of course, more magnum ammo. Can never go wrong with some magnum ammo being placed on your levels. I knew there was something around here. There's a little door here we could maybe open. And it almost looked like there was a way I could go down here. Yeah, look at this. There's a way to slide down. So I wonder if this is a secret and that's how I get back up? Let's give it a try. I can't get back up now, but it just pulled my vision across. Oh, a couple of panthers. They're not really doing much. I think they struggle with, um... Very small inclines. I suppose that's kind of the whole thing about this game though, isn't it? Just struggling with inclines while getting mauled by big cats. Right, so it looks like you can get way up to the top of this room. And then you can also violent- I'm gonna stop that before that gives someone a seizure. God, <laughs> Laura, what are you doing? We can also get in here. Doesn't really seem to be anything I can do over there. Like, I can't climb up, but is that a med kit? No, it's just a bit of the wall. Okay, so we need to go this way. We're in. Alright, this looks promising, I think. If there's any way out of here, it's gonna be this. So I'm gonna have to do like a running grab jump to that. Just. Just about made it. And then I should be able to start getting higher from up here. So if I do like a running grab... No, that was not a run and grab jump. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta get myself back up there. Alright, I'm back up here. Let's try this again, shall we? Start moving before you try and jump. And then there you go, somehow it works. Oh, look at that in the corner there. I don't know what that is. But I do want to get over there and investigate. And ideally get out of this area too. So let's jump onto this platform here. I should be able to just hop over to this one. That way down there, oh, there's a large med kit. That goes onto that slidey platform I used earlier. Yes, that's now where the mummies are. Okay, so what is this thing? It's just a vase. Okay, it's just random decoration. Great. I guess it was to catch your eye to make you come in this direction. I don't know. Either way, we've got to get over here. So we're going to have to jump to this platform, just like this. Nice and simple. Then we've got this one here, which I could 
grab if I don't take a run up, but I think I'd rather just play it safe. There we go. Then we step back to do the same for this platform. A little turn in mid-air to make sure we get it right. Back step, run and jump. Good, good. Then we vault this. Turn around, and then we should be perfectly positioned to jump and grab that. Oh, and look at that, there's a save crystal. This room has honestly been nothing but full damage for me so far, so I tell you what, I will take that save crystal, and I will not feel in the slightest bit bad about it. Alright, let's at last get out of here. What's that? It's a mummy. Why are they so loud? Yeah, I just needed to stand and kill that thing, because if that got me trapped there, that would have been very bad, I would have fallen off. Now, there's a lot of supplies down here. That also gets me back to where I was originally. So I kind of want to descend this. Let me pull this lever and see what happens. Oh, that's one of the drawbridges. Okay, so what's up here? Anything worth my time? There's a locked door here, and then there's just the ways down there to get the supplies and the stuff in the middle there already. And another one of those mirrors that I don't actually think do anything at this point. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is go through four different routes to get four different drawbridges down to get to all these goodies. So I'm going to go grab those supplies first while I think I can, because I don't know if I'm going to have to battle my way through this whole gauntlet again if I want to get back to where they were. Alright, so we have a small medkit here, and that's two piles of ammo if I saw correctly. Of course, both of the Magnum ammo. What other kind of ammo would we get in this game? I don't have any other weapons. Okay, now how do we get over there? By that platform there, I imagine? Or we could just fall back down into the supply pit. That works too. We don't talk about these things. We don't talk about them. Okay, instead of letting the really glitchy poles throw me off again, here's an idea. Let's just shimmy across. Also, I thought that thing down there, that little table with the vials on, was an item I'd missed then. I thought, oh, that's brown, that means that's health. But no, brown doesn't mean health in this case. And look at those poles pushing me still. So yeah, this appears to be how I get across here, so... Let's just give this a try, even though I can't bloody see what I'm doing. I think that's... is that Uzi Hammer? My goodness, Laura, we found a different type of bullet. This is a, an amazing discovery. Can I get back this way? Nope. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm just thinking here. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. I was wondering if there was like a little ledge next to all of these items. Maybe I could have just come up here and dropped backwards off of all of them and then just like completely skipped these drawbridges. But I don't think that's going to work. Unfortunately. I do want this stuff though. I just need to find a safe way down and I think that means going all the way back down to the bottom. I mean, I could drop down onto this, uh, this open drawbridge here. I mean, I did get a health kit here, so... Yep. Yep, we definitely need to use that. I don't know what that was showing me. Was this place becoming unstable or something? No, I kind of feel like I can make that, but at the same time, I don't trust it. Oh, wait, I can just go around the side. Never mind. Ignore me. And there's a lever up here, as well as a large health kit. Now, Laura, can you just pick the health kit up, please? We don't need to do all of this dancing around the stairs. Alright. Let's pull the lever. I think that might get me another one of these artifacts. Has it? No. No would be the answer to that. But I can go over that way, too. Alright, let's try going back this way first. What's in here? A save crystal, which I honestly feel very tempted to take right now. There we go. All of that, um, vertical failure, we'll call it. It's made me feel like we definitely need to stay regularly saving where we can here. Obviously, if we haven't passed any danger, then there's no point, but at the same time, like, do we really want to start losing progress? Okay, I have scaled to the highest point in this room, so that I can do... nothing. There's nothing here. Saying that, I did just save. 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Because if not, you are silly. I was honestly expecting that to go badly, like I'd fall down and die, and then I'd just be like, okay, well if you're not thinking what I'm thinking, then you're probably smarter than me. But no, it actually worked out. Sometimes you just have to commit to the bit and then you find ways to progress inside puzzle video games. Who would have thought?